the triple threat of hotter weather, weather uh, hotter, wetter and more flood-prone decades ahead is putting more pressure on Singapore to build greener and better. And that's got the building industry on the hunt for smarter ways to cool people down and keep the rising sea at bay. Claudia Lim looks at how this could redefine our urban landscape. With daily temperatures projected to rise by as much as 5 degrees Celsius by end century, the race is heating up to find solutions that can cool us down without adding to global warming. That means relying less on air conditioning and its cycle of sucking up electricity while coughing out heat and greenhouse gases. By reducing the use of air conditioning, we can reduce uh, our energy consumption and carbon emissions in our, from our buildings. Our mixed mode ventilation approach aims to break this cycle. Lei Yue is part of a team at the National University of Singapore testing out this mixed mode concept in an office setting. It combines natural ventilation, ceiling fans and spot cooling at desks to automatically maintain ideal indoor temperatures. The team estimates it uses around half as much energy to cool the space compared to air conditioning. I think it's an important step in mitigating the impact of Singapore's changing climate. The Singapore Green Building Council says the country has to change the way it builds to adapt to the warming weather, and the sector is paying heed in several areas. We're using software to look at building orientation, how we can minimize the solar heat impact, and how we could harness seasonal wind directions. Then you look at urban greenery incorporated into buildings, which helps to reduce the indoor and ambient temperatures. There's also the encroaching ocean to worry about. Recent climate data projects that sea levels here could rise by 1.15 metres by end century, surpassing earlier estimates. A team at Nanyang Technological University is already working hard on the idea of flexible seawalls that rise and fall with the sea level. They've got their eye on the Long Island project in East Coast. We will be able to build this wall uh, using membranes. And so the membrane will serve as a function to separate the water. And on top, uh, you still can have a concrete block. And this concrete block can also be used for other functions. For example, inside the concrete block, you can use it for, for highway. And on top of the concrete block, you can still have uh, your beach, still have your slope for your intertidal zone. National Water Agency PUB says it's undertaking planning based on a two-metre rise in sea levels. It's an approach that they say can protect against near-term risk, but also adapt to changes and challenges down the road. We are already seeing um, some uh, coastal flooding, uh, especially along areas like East Coast Park. When, uh, today, whenever um, uh, um, there is high tides coinciding with heavy rainfall, yeah. So uh, we talk about uh, developing, studying and developing uh, solutions, uh, but with every um, solution, there will bound to be trade-offs um, because of our limited land use, uh, limited land and also uh, competing uh, users. The forecast is grim at worst and uncertain at best, but one thing is clear, the need to prepare for whatever climate change brings to Singapore's air, land and sea.